a view of the boat on the outside. It's got a beard on it, but the hull was painted just recently. Uh, according to the owner, there's a cabin made out of wood, solid boat. Uh, I want to point out that the hull is aluminum, welded to the deck, and the deck has an aluminum plate as well. But the middle part of the deck is made out of plywood and fiberglass. She could be a good stout boat. And it's got a, a skeg, a skeg uh, rudder on it with a fin keel. Hi, how are you? Going back forward and got the, there's a little bit of aluminum scaling on the, on the, port, on the port side below the rub rail. Stout bow by the way. Here's the problem. You can see. Looks like the uh, the water's gotten behind the paint, but it's back to the cockpit on deck. Here we have life sling, the traveler's new cockpit. Nice wood cockpit, you need some work, TLC cleaning up. The sails are in pretty good shape. The deck could use some painting, but it's solid. It's got a boat rest. There's the sails. Got a mass with climbing steps on it. Going forward, we have the anchor. It's like a nice plow anchor. There's also a spinnaker or Genoa. deck here. Looking aft down the port side, as you can see she's a solid boat but needs a lot of work. But most of it is painting and scrubbing and doing bright work. There we go, there's one smooth gun more. Coming away. There's a port. Could be a sleeping area. There's an ice box to port. One bunk to port. Another bunk below it. Lots of storage room. To Starburg, we have another bunk. And there's a board that goes across there where you can put a second, make it into a queen bed. This is the galley. Work area. That's the starboard. There's also another area back here. Going forward. We got, could be another bunk up here, sails, anchor locker. What's interesting about this boat is note, it's made out of aluminum, the stringers are aluminum, and the deck is welded to the hull.
there's the head. Looking back, the main cockpit. And there's the engine purring away at a nice 